Oh, good morning and hello gamers and welcome to the channel. I'm Bat Tech. Everybody calls me Bat or Batty, whichever you prefer. Let's get into episode 5 of the Vintage Story. We slept here last night. We are still on our adventure. We did mark this TL, so we will just get out of here and keep exploring. Where we were going, who knows? We are going south. We're gonna go check that out. After sleeping, we need food. Which is everywhere you could live off the land. So we will eat these. I didn't get any of those. We're pretty far out. I will probably never come across those again. Um, let's see, so we can't eat those. Some more flax. Beautiful. Do have all of our linen sacks, which is fantastic. Um, I'm gonna stop marking copper because once we do get a pick, we're just gonna start mining it all up, and it seems to be abundant. So not too worried about that. There's a lot of stuff we can get as food. There we go. And we will eat this on the way over. all we ate it all let's grab that and this yeah. oh shoot I hit something are you gonna come after me I don't know what I hit Hopefully they don't come and attack. A lot of bony soil that we can uh, sift through. Is there anything up there? I'm going to assume no. But I don't want to take these with me. Lag spike. Loading in new terrain. Haven't had a lag spike in a minute. Alright, I think that's everything that we can get out of that one. Let's see what else we can do here. Just gonna make our rounds, I guess. Since we are in this direction, I'm trying to see if I can see anything out in the distance. Um, let's go around this way and then we'll just come back around the other direction. And I did hit something out here. Hopefully, it was just a bunny and not a ram, as they'll come and attack me back. I uh, thought I seen some 
flax or something. What is that? Oh, uh, just water flowing? I always like to look up the mountain sides. Um, it's the easiest spot to find some terra preta. This fire clay? It is fire clay. I am gonna gather up some of this so that we can get an oven. And then we can start making some bread. I'll just gather a little bit so I'll keep you with me this time. I don't remember how much it takes to make a uh, an oven, but you know it takes a lot. one oven. Maybe we can just make that a full stack. And we will just drop that out. I should probably mark that. Who knows if that might be the closest fire clay we have. And we will make that red. Bada bing. My dude's hungry, so we will gather food as well on the way. We may not be collecting copper, but we are keeping an eye out still for tin. We have flint on us. Uh, if we need to make a tool, flint is abundant everywhere. What are we getting into? An andesite still? Alright, let's come up this hill. Are we going to be able to get around this? Yeah, we might be able to. See if there's any room buildings that we could visit on our way. That might be. Um, maybe not. Be hard to get up there to get to it anyways. At least from where we're at. more huckleberry or honeysuckle oh here we go some buildings and a trader what happened here some interesting generation with mods and upheaval variants. Let's go check this out first. Some more chert. Got a bunch of chert buildings in the area of Andesite. Let's hoping that was a crate that we could take. There's something we can loot. Oh, shoot. Okay. Awesome. 
We've got some good stuff going on right here. Let's get out our chest. A tin ingot. Got carpet. We'll take the sticks. And we have a scroll. Have we been reading these on our way? We have. So let's... We'll save that. How about that? We'll save it for nighttime. Alright. I want this as well. Beautiful. Let's close that, shall we? Just keeps going up, huh? We'll take that too. And those. Some gears. Lots of good stuff. Okay. Let's make sure we finish this side first. Oh, what is that? Equatorial sundial? Well, we'll take that. And the chest. Let's see, will that stack? Got two different brigiers. They're not stack. Yeah, one's black, one's tan. And we will take the flax too. An owl treasure chest. Owl treasure chest. These should stack. Yep. And I want this too. Aww. 50-50 chance we didn't get it that time. Except I want to chuck out some things. Okay. What else? Oh, well, we want everything. Except... Oh, that's square stitches. I was gonna make another linen with the flax we have, but they will not stack because they're different. All right, let's start from the top. What do we got here? Just sticks? No, thank you. In here. Take more of those for sure. I would love to gather all of this ancient planks. Or aged. They are ancient. They're called aged. Alright, I think there was just like a uh, middle section here that we did forget. Let's see if we can get up there. Um, not very easily. It's fine. Um, let's actually make some ladders. Oh, hello. Oh, they're stacked to 16. Okay, I'm hoping for these tables for sure. Yes. Maybe the pile of books. They don't look ruined. They actually look nice. We got those too. Alright. 
take our ladders back. I think this was the only building, yeah. Looks like it. Let's go check out the trader. Oh, that's all the stuff I dropped. Our inventory is not so good. Luxuries, trader. Can we buy from you? You owe Mac pieces. Wow, 60 gears for the silver phallus. That looks pretty nice. I like the blue handle in that as well. You're loud, buddy. Be quiet for a moment. Will they buy lore books? Alright, so we got luxuries and clothing. I'm okay with that. So let's do this. Luxuries and clothing. So let's just skirt this, uh, this mountain area. I'm sure they'll stack. It's just one. Let's get rid of him. And what we will do is munch on some of these berries. Some nice open terrain here. What is this? Oh, different size of willow logs. She got that one, and you got that one. Okay. Wow, a lot of vines. We need rope. I think I overate. Not paying attention. Alright, let's make our way back home. Exploration day two was pretty good. Oh, swamp E area. There's a building there. Let's make sure that we generate that and that we will need to come back for sure. These areas I should probably start X marking that we have been there. I do have a tendency to forget where I've been. And we've been there. I think we've also been here. Maybe not. Is the distance from loading. Then there was some areas over here as well that we did go to. Oh, was that a traitor and I forgot to mark him? Alright, we'll make sure that we start marking these a little bit better. This adventure was pretty good. Let's see, where are we? Um Let's just clear the map. 
make sure that this is all explored. What do we got here? Ooh, cabbage. I don't think we have cabbage yet. What else do I have? I've just been collecting flax. Um, more seed. I'm sure you're going to be different, so... We'll come back to that, so we're not going to mark it so that we know. Just two things. Alright. And by the time that we do get home, our kilns should be done. Alright, just a little bit more. That way it's all cleared out. is a ruin in the water here. Oh, a couple of ruins. <gasps> Ooh, there's a flower pot. Let's take the gears. Some copper. Ugh. There's a few good things here. I might have to cheat my inventory. Hope you guys don't mind. And I'll show you what that means. Oh, here's another one of these. Let's take this too. This one should stack. under there. Are you hiding anything? No. Just ruins. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this scribe table too. We didn't. But let's take this. And by cheating inventory, if you just leave stuff right here and don't close your inventory, it will stay. Okay. Oh, there's a little bit more over here. Makes me really want to like clear a little bit of it out. No? Okay, let's go. Oh! Just surprise after surprise. I didn't even see this ruin over here. Interesting. storage vessel. I don't know if I want to leave this stuff and come back or take it. Let's see, this looks like a darker one. Let's put this over here. It is becoming nighttime. We will come back. So what we'll do... is we will mark that on our map and come back to that. And we will swim home most of the way. A 
love seeing all this extra stuff in the water now. First I thought it was just over cluttered, but it works. There's another building there too. Okay, we have some things to come back to. Just eat all of these. Up to. Alright. And I think it will be faster to swim. Maybe. We'll make a boat too. Or a raft. And we're gonna make the uh primitive survival raft. Um, you don't need an oar or paddle and it goes pretty fast so that's what we want to be able to just zoom through here. And we'll call it good. What is that? Is that a gravestone? We'll have to go, uh, go dig that up. Just the side of a block. This is still a very cool, cool area. I, I like this. The terrain isn't too jagged. I think having the mods that we do and the upheaval gives us some good variety. Because as you see, we still have huge mountains that we uh, had to go around. I was worried everything was going to be too flat. That's why I did increase that. And I might treat you guys to a uh, little longer of an episode today. Should have could have left all this travel out. I'm sorry, guys, but thanks for sticking it out. There we go. If you hold shift and control at the same time, you can swim in this one one block of water. It works out pretty good. So let's do what we can. Let's chuck some of that. And we did not have any cabbage seeds, but we do now. And here, oh, we've had fruit raw already. So that's fine. You just stick that in there. Let's put some grain in there. And so many good things. We can probably put a table down. Let's put these here for now. Let's put a pile of books on there. Oh, what happened? Oh, there we go. I wonder if that was a, uh, a shift click thing. And we have a nice little flower pot. Let's put that right here in the corner. And... What else can we put away? Let's put this wallpaper away. 
And then these, I think these only stack up to four. Yeah. Uh, it's taking up inventory space that we just don't have right now. Let's see. We'll put some fire clay in there with that other clay. Where was I putting the ore? Right here. So let's do that. Hope I did have more. And the copper. But... There we go. We have all this flax. Let's get this chest down. Actually, let's, let's keep it matched. Alright, we got more of these. I would like to get another one done right here. There we go. And... Let's see... Yeah, let's put one also here. So we should have some torches somewhere. There we go. Let's put two. Let's light this area up a little bit. Oh, we got another table. We'll just put it there for now. So this is another ore. We have more owl chests. They're just gonna have a wall of them. Okay. This is one book that we didn't read. So let's make sure that we, uh. Our scroll. Um, the bed is probably what we're gonna take with us on our travels. But let's. 40 of that. Let's put our flax away. Let's also... What are these blocks, eh? What do we have going on here? Those are empty. Um, we got these carpets here. There's more some blacks. We'll go place this down with this guy. Sweet. Um, well we have an axe mold. Let's make, let's make three. Oh wait, what is that? Oh, we got lots of copper. But we'll stick with that for now. We'll have a hammer, an axe, and a pickaxe. Um, that should be good for now. This. Let's put this up. Um, let's make more room. We're getting things. Let's put flint stuff right there. And we'll put this scrap ruined items on that one. Um, the hope we'll probably use in a minute. Any more things we can uh, place? Oh, our spawn. We'll think about where we want to have our spawn point. Um, we're okay on food, I guess, for a minute. Until we're out. <laughs> that is... I would love a bucket, but... Let's see, where am I putting blocks? right here. So let's um, this age stuff up here. Terp 
Greta and Plaster can go together with the hay as well as the bony soil. And then this one can be the stone stuff and gravel and sand. I think that's pretty good. We need to get these cooking up. We have no protein to go with it. Alright. Let's read our little scroll. The Glimmer Shield Castle. Nestled in the heart of the kingdom, there stood a grand castle known as Glimmer Shield. It was a marvel to behold, with its imposing square shapes surrounded by a deep moat and guarded by four mighty towers, each standing tall and proud in its own right. The Wycliffe family, a powerful and influ influential clown, clan, were the lords of Glimmershield during the early centuries. Their castle was the envy of all who laid eyes upon it, a true testament to their wealth, power, and prestige. The castle walls were adorned with sculptures and paintings, each one more exquisite than the last. In the library, a vast collection of books filled every shelf, a treasure trove of knowledge that the family had acquired through their many journeys. And Del Dylan. Dylan? I'm gonna have to look that up. Dylan, huh? Alright. So there's another scroll. Let's go and check up on our kiln. They should definitely be done. Yep. Let me put that in my hand. Alright. We're cooking now. Stairs can uh, damage you a little bit. You run too fast on them. It's happened a couple of times. Alright, so we got the pots. Let's put one in there. Um, these are extra. put all these crocs away and we will also put these extras away in there there we go then we have our axe let's get this baby going there we go and I'm gonna start it with a couple pieces of wood Awesome. I'm excited. Copper Age, guys. The Copper Age. And then for food, the only thing we can really do is grain, I think. It's been a while. So let's do two servings of that. And I think, yeah, we could do that. Except let's even this out. There we go. Let's also get some food going. Beautiful. Let's grab our one bowl. Put it in our food slot. Let's keep an eye on this. Because we're going to need... A little bit more. This will go up to 900 degrees. Probably need two of them in there. And then we're gonna need our coal that we have. And one, two, three items. So I think that's all that we need. We 
Woo, we're almost there. Oh, one thing we do need. Um, I almost forgot. It is new. We need, I think, one of those there. Stick surrounding here. Um, no. Rope? It was rope. This is wooden tongs, and we will need that in our hand to pick up this uh, crucible. And get that in there. Didn't I grab three? At least I thought I did anyways. We're gonna eat that baby. We're gonna take that. And then we're gonna fill... I don't think I can put veggies with that. Oh, I can. I love that. Let's do that. That'll get that a little healthier for us. And we have six servings in there. So let's just grab one crock, and then we will actually do two. We might need one more coal. Just in case if we do. And we have it. Beautiful. Let's just put our lantern down. It's pretty bright in here. Fairly. Not pretty bright, but fairly. And we might be okay. Six servings of flax forge with mashed king bullet and patty straw. Sounds disgusting but we're gonna eat it anyways all right we're looking pretty good guys let's get that in our hand we're gonna need it soon yep that'll finish just fine and then we'll come back for our food and make up some more really need a door on there I'm surprised I haven't run into any drifters yet. Because I've only slept one night, the one where we were exploring this morning. And then that, I've stuck all the nights out, done some clay forming, made some pit kilns, and the charcoal pit. Charcoal pit should be good too. Alright. Here we go, guys. Look at this, look at this. I'm so excited. Priorities first. There we go. Oh, that's right. They are hot. I like that, because it should hurt you. Food's almost done. We'll cook up a little bit more. We'll just do the two servings here, because then we can put that also within our uh, second crock. These will hold up to four, so we'll have a total of... Yep, four and four. We'll have eight. Let's make sure we get that go. Keep that going. Keep it going. There we go. And then there's that one there. Let's put this back over here. Put that in there. We did the bullet first. And that should cook up and fill the rest of that crock. We will have two crocks full of food. Beautiful. We can put that coal away. And it looks like... Let's put this against the wall. So this is where we will use it. 
Those bees are getting really annoying. We're just gonna finish this off. And those will take a minute to cool down. Look at all those parts. Uh, should probably pick those up and put them on in a chest somewhere. Yeah. Alright, that won't need that. So let's just put that away. Take our pops. This is cool design. I really love these new strut things. Oh, I didn't even see that hook. We'll keep that there too. We'll pretend that's where we're gonna uh, hook up our deer. Skin the bugger alive. You know, just kidding, not alive. He'll be dead. Alright guys, guys, thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like, the, like and subscribe today and in the future because it helps out the channel. I will see you guys in the next episode.